Hey everybody, this is Robin from Our Wild Way. Today I want to share with you the science curriculum that we are using this year. Um, this is Building Foundations of Scientific Understanding and this is Volume 1 for grades kindergarten through second grade, um, but it's also completely adaptable and uh, good for even older grades um, above second. Um, it is really, really a great curriculum. It's a little wordy and it can seem a little um, difficult to, difficult to um, figure out how to use. Um, the scope and sequence is <laughs> kind of difficult to follow. Um, I mean, this, this is a flow chart and, it, and it's easy to figure out, but I mean, check it out. This is, so you wanna start here. Organizing things into categories. Okay, so it's got, let me, let me take a step back. There are um, the different categories of science. So you've got the natures of matter, nature of matter. You have life science, physical science, earth science. And they are all bunched up by category. Now you don't just go through each category, it jumps around. So, this is how it works. You'd start with lesson A, B, 1, organizing things into category. And you can either go down here to solids, liquids, gases, or you can go over here, distinguishing living or biological. So, it can be really confusing. This can be very confusing, and that's why a lot of people don't use this curriculum, even though it is such a wonderful curriculum. Um, it teaches kids to question um, and to to um, find their answers, scientific answers through observation and hypothesis, and to draw a conclusion. Um, but it's it's very observation based. It's not looking for. Um, it's not trying to memorize facts. It's not doing a bunch of worksheets. It's learning by observation, and um, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Now, this book here, this is like an abridged version of this. Um, so it was written by Shannon Jordan with Dr. Ber Bernard Neville. Um, so he is the guy that wrote the original and um, he helped with this one. Um, so what it is, is it has an order of lessons built in. So year one autumn term and it has um, your weeks laid out and your lessons laid out. And it goes by term. So um, autumn, winter, spring, year two, autumn, winter, spring, etc. Um, it has information to how to prepare each lesson. It has your master supply list for each term. So you just put together a bin of all of these items and then all of the experiments and observation, um, observational projects that you do, everything is just in your bin, which I think is absolutely genius. Um, Yes, there's also um, supplies for each lesson laid out very clearly right here. Okay, so this is what your lesson would look like. So I'm gonna, let's see, let's see what, the, show you the difference. You see, they look the same. Um, the big difference between the two um, is that the um, original has a lot more information on how you teach the subject. Um, a lot more information for the parent. Um, let's see. It shows you um, what your child is going to be understanding. 
it shows, see, okay, so in here it's just one page, you know, front and back. In here, it's six pages. So there's a lot more information. Um, and it's mostly for the parent, how to teach it. Um, it's information, how to help your child learn it, questions to ask, things to look for, um, how you can apply it to your daily life, how you can talk about it in your daily life. Um, also, this version has um, literature recommendations. Um, there's only a few for this lesson, but most of the lessons have like a full page. Like look at how many um, books for solids, liquids, and gases. All of these. Um, and that's worth it right there. Just all of the different literature selections. Um, I love that about this. Curriculum. I really, really recommend this curriculum to anybody um, that wants to give their child a really good foundation for scientific thinking um, and understanding. It's, it so goes beyond just memorizing facts and figures and doing worksheets, um, but it, it really helps them understand the base. Um, of science and that they can grow from there and with the scope and sequence it's good because um, every lesson kind of builds on itself they build on themselves and um, go from there I mean it really teaches teaches kids how to inquire and I I really like an inqu inquiry method of teaching um, because it really, it really teaches the kids how to think for themselves, how to ask questions. Um, here are, um, an example of questions, you know, I wonder how, how might we separate these into categories? What are your reasons for that choice? How do you think blank might be related to blank? How does blank differ from blank? You know, these are, it sets your parent up for being able to teach science without any scientific background at all. Um, here's a baloney detection kit. This is great. This is so great. God, this is so important in today's, um, today's world. So the whole, like, I'm going to say the first, um, yeah, the first 40 pages are purely for the adult to read, get acquainted with the curriculum. Um, and then also I wanted to point out that back here in the appendix, all the way back here. In the matrix, um, this correlates, this is how each lesson correlates to the NGS standards for K through second and matrix two. Let's see, how is it backwards? Okay, yeah, so this is um, each, um, this is each standard, and then it goes through which lesson correlates to that standard. And then this one has the lesson and how it correlates exactly to each standard. I find this so, this is so great. This is, um, make sure you get one of the newer copies because the older copies don't have this. Um, and that is so great. If you're trying to stay on, on, um, task with your, um, or on track at all with national standards. Um, so I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this, um, quick review and look through of, um, uh, building foundations of scientific understanding and early elementary science education. This is commonly referred to in groups, 
um, and homeschooling circles as BFSU. Um, so if you've seen that thrown around, this is what they're talking about. I highly recommend it. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. We are always posting awesome tutorials, DIYs, curriculum, um, reviews. <laughs> I'll be posting lots of reviews, unboxings, and all the fun stuff that we're doing this year is going to go right on my channel um, for everybody to see. So I hope I see you again and um, leave a comment down in the comment section if this is a curriculum that you have used or are going to use. I would love to see how everyone's using it um, and what everyone's doing. So yeah, see you again soon. Bye-bye.